Hey folks, Rick Brown here, Bayou Knives, Crowville, Louisiana. I want to talk to you today about a couple guns that I'd like to do a little mini review for you and talk about. Uh, I'm a very frugal person when it comes to spending my money and I want to get the best value I can for my money, so I'm always shopping for deals. Best deal I can come up on. And uh, with my firearms, I try to stay with the uh, standard available calibers, you know, 22 long rifle, 9mm, 38, 357, 45 automatic. And uh, with my rifles, I like to stay with 22 long rifle, 223, 308, 30 06. Easily available stuff. Well, I wanted a 223 repeater. Now, I have a Thompson Center contender with a, a barrel on, a 223 barrel. But it's a single shot, and I wanted a repeater. I've been shooting a good many hogs and hog hunting at night. They made it Louisiana legal in Louisiana to hunt hogs at night and predators at night. So I've been hunting coyotes and hogs, and I wanted a repeater. But uh, with the events, current events, and the political events, the things that's going on, uh, 223 rifles, if you can even find one, availability is almost any uh, non-existent. And they they cost three prices. I just couldn't afford an AR-15 or a Mini-14 in any of that neighborhood. So I was at Walmart and uh, walked in and was looking at the guns, looking at their 22s, and I happened to see a Savage Axis in 223. It was $277. So I came home and I did all the research I could about it, not just a gun magazine, gun writers. Uh, reviews but also on the hunting and, and shooting forums I read what the everyday person had wrote about them and it was always good and Savage has a real good reputation for accuracy these days now this gun is the Savage Axis in 223 now it is not uh, built on the 110 Savage 110 type uh, action it has a solid top closed frame action uh, and it's one size fits all. It comes in calibers from 223 all the way up to 300 Winchester Magnum. So it's a long action, and they just make the they make the little magazines shorter with a block in them for the short caliber. So you have to use the long action. That's one of the cons of it. It has a very I'm going to say flimsy synthetic stock, but it seems to work pretty good because it's free floated. And uh, it's a little thin in the pistol grip for my big hands. I do like the the uh, ambidextrous safety in the middle. The problem with the scope mounting on these long actions is if the scope doesn't have a very long tube, you can't mount it. Even this long 4 to 16 scope I have on it needs some more eye relief. The good thing is uh, OpticSystems.com sells a Picatinny rail for these for $14.95 and I've ordered two of them to be able to put my scope a little farther back. You can also uh, remove the rear uh, sling swivel stud, press this button on the top of the stock here. You can see the button there, press it and depress it and take the rear uh, butt pad off and you could fill that with uh, spray foam if you wanted to fill it down and cut down on the hollow sound or you could put a cleaning kit and a small survival kit in it, which I plan to do. Some extra ammo, uh, a little bit of survival first aid type kit, and a cleaning 223 uh, AR-15 military cleaning kit will fit in this stock. As I said, it is free floating. Uh, it doesn't have the Accu-Trigger that Savage puts on them now, but it does have a very simple, very easy to work on trigger. It took me about 20 minutes to drop it from a six pound trigger to a two and a half with no creep and no over travel. It's a very simple trigger that any good gunsmith can, can work on. Now I've been fortunate, I've been a gun enthusiast all my life and I'm very good with my hands, very good mechanically. I've been a gunsmith, I've uh, worked in sporting goods stores, I've managed sporting goods stores and I'm very good at working at my own firearms and it's very simple to fix this trigger. And I took this gun out and it's got a one in nine twist which should mean it should shoot better with the 55 and 60 grain, 62 grain bullets, but I have a pet load that uses Accurate Arms 2015 bench rest powder and a Spear 50 grain TNT that I like to shoot. And it's, a very, it's always been very accurate in every gun I've used it in. And I shot it in this gun not expecting great results, but the first group at 100 yards was a half inch group, uh, three shot group. So I was really impressed. And, 
I had some Hornady soft point 60 grains that I wanted to load up and shoot hogs. And they shot around three quarters of an inch to an inch. So it shoots to 50 grains better. But uh, it's, I've got it dialed in, set an inch and a half high at 100 yards. And, and I'm just, just in love with it. And I so much that I went back and they had another one in 308. And I bought it also. So I have a, I have a 308 and a 223. Now the only scope I had that would fit on this uh, long mounting bar, this long action, was this 3 to 9 Simmons I had. So I'm waiting for my Picatinny rail because I have a, I have a 3 to 12 uh, by 52 30 millimeter tube scope that I intend to put on my 308 as soon as I get my Picatinny rail. But it too has the butt pad that's removable and I'm going to put the same thing in it. Extra ammo, uh, it's a little survival kit and a little uh, first aid and a little uh, cleaning kit a collapsible cleaning kit from an M14 in this gun. It too shoots very well. The only load I've worked up so far, I've worked up a hog load using a, a 125 grain nozzler ballistic tip loaded down to about 25, 2600 feet per second a slower, you know, a light, a light power, light power, low power load to shoot hogs with, and it's shooting around an inch with that, and I figure with my hunting loads, with my, uh, the 150 grain Hornady inner bonds, it'll, it'll, it should shoot real well, because they tend to shoot extremely good, so if these guns, if you're on a budget, and you're feeling frugal, and you just don't have a lot of money to spend, but you want a 223 or a 308, or even the 270, 30 out 6, 243, 22, 250, 7 millimeter Magnum, 300 Winchester Magnum. Think about this gun because it has the barrel nut interchangeable. You can uh, change the barrels out on them. Uh, it's very, very good, very accurate, very good entry level gun or a person that doesn't want to spend a lot of money. These guns are very, very, very accurate and I highly recommend them. It's a Savage Axis. Now if you run up on some of the older ones, they were called Savage Edge. But it's the same gun. Well, as I said, Walmart, $277. I think here in Louisiana, we had, Winsboro has a 10% uh, tax. I believe it was $304, I think, tax and everything for the gun out the door. Now, it doesn't come with a scope. Uh, some of the guns, the entry-level guns like the Remington 770 comes with a scope. And they're a little bit more like 297 but they have a pressed-in barrel. They don't have an easily uh, fixable trigger. Uh, they're just not as accurate and not as good a gun. But if you're looking for a good gun in 223 or a good hunting gun or just something that you want to keep around the house, um, think about one of these Savage Axis guns. I think you'll be well pleased with it. And uh, be sure to visit my website, which is www.buyouknives.webs.com or like Buy You Knives on Facebook. And as I always say, have a great day today and a better day tomorrow. And thank you for viewing.